Welcome to FIU Football Weekly for Week 3. Panthers coming off a 21-13 to UMass. As usual, joined by Coach Ron Turner. And Coach, uh, your thoughts on the game? Well, I was obviously very disappointed. Not real happy after the game. Not real happy at halftime. Um, I just didn't like the way we played, especially in the first half. Made way too many mistakes. We had seven official penalties. We really had nine. Two of them, we had two on one play. So they declined one and they declined one other one. So we had nine you know, penalties in the first half and uh, made mistakes. And, you know, that's not the kind of team that I want to be. We got to play better. And I, I thought we responded, came out a little bit better in the second half, especially early. Um, you know, but we just can't make those kind of mistakes. We, we got to play, we got to play smarter football. We, we weren't, didn't play as smart as we're capable of, and we didn't play as disciplined as we have to, um, to, to beat anybody. Part of that response in the second half was Alex Gardner, who had another good game going over 100 yards uh, the last two games. What do you think's clicked for him? Well, first of all, I think there were some positives overall on, on both sides of the ball and special teams all the way around. And, but, you know, the, the, the negative plays, the mental errors and stuff like that, the, the lack of discipline plays, you know, hurt us. And we weren't good enough to overcome them because we didn't make enough big plays. But I thought offensively, the run game, you know, got going, did a nice job in the run game, not just Alex, the offensive line. I thought did a really good job in the run game. And um, obviously Alex did a good job. And defensively, I thought we did a pretty good job against the run, um, you know, which is what we wanted to do, 3.2 yards per carry. Um, you know, so I thought we did a pretty good job there. So there's some good things to take out of it. We just got to clean up the other stuff. As far as the, the passing game, do you think it's guys just not on the same page or maybe pressing too much, trying to get something going? Yeah, I don't know. I, no, we're just not executing. We're not making plays. We're not executing like we need to. Um, they, they're a very good pass rushing team. They gave us a lot of different looks, a lot of different games. We actually picked it up as well as, as the first two teams they played. Um, but we still, you know, wasn't good enough, and we didn't make plays when we had chances. We had some opportunities to make plays, and we didn't make them. That's the bottom line. We didn't make them when we had the opportunities, and we, we, we're going to have to move forward. And, you know, to make those plays, I mean, do you think maybe it's tweaking the lineup a little bit or getting other guys in there? Or? Yeah, well, we're, gonna, we're always looking to get our best guys on the field, and there might, there might be a couple things we do, you know, to try to get it going. Our three young freshman receivers, you know, are making some plays. They're doing good. I thought Stanley Thomas had a really good game, and as the game went on, it was obvious he was the guy that was making plays, and we kept saying, all right, let's get him involved. Let's get him the ball. And uh, he and John knew, and, uh, you know, those were the guys, and we tried to go to T.O., and, and we just weren't clicking in there. Well, turning to Saturday now, in-state game coming on against an opponent that, you know, you guys know pretty well, Central Florida. They do have a new coach. Scott Frost came from Oregon. I'm sure you're going to see a little bit of the Oregon offense when you, when you face them. You've seen film yeah. or, of their previous games. They're one and two right now. They beat South Carolina State to start 38 nothing. Then they lost 51-14 to Michigan. And then a common opponent last week, they went double overtime against Maryland before losing 30 to 24. What have you seen from the Knights? Well, they're a good team, and we know they're. We know a lot of their guys. We tried to recruit a lot of them. We know them. We played them last year. Most of them played last year. They got a lot of guys returning, you know. So we know that team very well, and, and they're doing a good job. They're a good football team, and um, they, they they're running not a little bit of you know the Oregon style offense. That's what they're running. A very very fast tempo. They want to get up and go. And uh, they're doing a nice job with it. They got a new quarterback in who started last week, who's very impressive. Thought he did a really good job, and um, he's a good player. And they got three running backs that can go. Not one, not two, but three. Three running backs that, that can really go. That have good speed and uh, are very, very, you know, good, good players, big time players. Yeah, I was talking to some folks I know up there in Orlando that follow the team, and they were telling me that Mackenzie Milton, the freshman quarterback who threw for 260 and two touchdowns, is the guy they wanted in there all along. And, you know, unfortunately, Justin Holman, the starter, got hurt. But it's kind of a silver lining for them as far as they're thinking with Milton. What have you seen on film? Well, I can see why they, you know, wanted him in there. He's a good player. I mean, he was very impressive, you know, going and making his first start. Made a lot of plays. He's a playmaker. I mean, he's, you can tell watching film that he he's, doesn't lack confidence. So he's a very confident guy, and the guys rally around him. Um, good football player. And, and to go along with that running game, I mean, they're going to they're gonna be, you know, they're, they're going to have a good offense, no doubt about it. Do you guys make any kind of adjustments in practice this week going against a team that's so fast-paced on offense like UCF is? Yeah, yeah, you always have to. You always adjust and, and practice what you're going to see. They're going to go fast tempo, so obviously you're going to try to simulate that the best you can. Um, everybody goes fast tempo now, so it's not, not that major of a deal, but they take it to another level. And so we just got to line up and, and uh, you know, get ready to play, and obviously we'll practice and we'll prepare for it like we always do. 
They seem uh, defensively that they've held their own against Maryland, who was a pretty good team that you know FIU played uh, against. Michigan, they only allowed over 100 yards rushing. I know that Michigan torched them for 328 through the air, but they seem like a team that's playing good defense. They are playing good defense, no doubt. They're, they're playing good defense. They got a lot of guys back with playing experience last year, um, and they're, they play hard. They play fast. Their entire secondary, you know, all, all returning starters, even the backups, all played a lot too. So they got a lot of they got a lot of experience back, and they're a good football team. And um, they play hard. and They have good speed. I know every game is important, but with this being an in-state type of game where a lot of the players on both sides know each other, do you sense a little bit more excitement from the team this week or you know, a little bit more of a chip on the shoulder type thing? Yeah, hopefully we have that all the time. And I right, think, no, obviously. Yeah, yeah, and I think we do. But, yeah, they know these guys so well, so there's definitely going to you know, be something a little bit different there. But the biggest thing is it's about us. We've got to focus on ourselves, and we've got to take care of our business. We didn't do it well enough last week to win. We've got to do it you know, this week and, uh, you know, to give ourselves a chance. That's Coach Ron Turner. Panthers take on UCF on Saturday. We'll step aside for a moment and come back with Alex Gardner. Sportsmanship is an important tradition for Conference USA members. It means being a role model for the next generation. Giving it everything you got. But always respecting your competition. Supporting your teammates no matter the situation. And representing your school and team with grace and dignity. In the classroom, on the field, in the community, and wherever life takes you. Show your CUSA pride all day through good sportsmanship. Welcome back to FIU Football Weekly. Panthers take on UCF this Saturday. And we're back here with running back Alex Gardner. Uh, obviously not the start you guys expected to this season. Uh, talk a little bit about that UMass game. Yeah, we definitely weren't expecting to come out on three, but uh, that's how it played out. And uh, that UMass game, we came out as a team flat, uh, didn't go out and execute plays how we expected to. And it, it got us behind the eight ball. And we, tried, we got back in the game too late. And, we just didn't dominate the game how we wanted to. For the second straight week, you went over 100 yards, 130 yards, eight shy of your career high. What was working the last two weeks for you in that running game? Uh, the offensive line has been playing very well, and I'm finally hitting my reads, the right reads that I'm supposed to hit, uh, being patient in the run game and running physical, running through arm tackles that normally would tackle me. I've gotten a lot stronger thanks to the, condition, uh, the strength and conditioning coaches, uh, and it's just helping me and my game overall. Last year, you know, this team offensively, was rolling for a while. You guys haven't had that kind of start this year. You, the running game's gotten going the last two weeks against Maryland and UMass, but the passing game is yet to click. What do you think's going on right there with that offense? Uh, we're going to be pretty good. Um, we just got to got to focus in more, zero in, and and just take on take the onus, knowing that we got to make plays and everybody got to come together as a collective group and be players, be players that we know that we can be. You think guys maybe are pressing a little, you know, getting off to the 0-2 start, maybe just trying to get that win? Uh, not really. We just got to focus in, honestly. Focus in and be ready to prepare better, uh, study film more, and just go out there and practice harder. You practice harder, how you practice is how you're going to play in the game. So you go out there and give it your all in practice. You're going to go to the game and it's going to translate. What's the team attitude now like after an 0-3 start, the mood? You know, you got an in-state rival coming in. How are you guys... Uh, you know, getting off that UMass game to get ready for UCF. We're definitely focused. We want we want to get this win. This is this is a win that we got to have and that we want to have, and we're going to get this win because we need it. And UCF is right down the street from us, and we know that it's going to be a very tough, uh, hard-fought game, and we're going to go out there and get that win for our team. Well, down the street, if you got a fast car to go up on the turnpike, but yeah, I understand what you're saying. Uh, UCF in-state team, you know, they're, they're going to have speed, Florida speed. A lot of their players are from Florida. There's some guys that you, you teams, uh, guys on your team have played against, played with in high school. Is there a little extra incentive? I know that you guys get this, get this asked every time there's a Florida team that you're going to play. But is there, you know, a little bit more excitement or incentive around the team knowing it's an in-state team? Yes, sir, because like you said, we have teammates that we've played against, uh, played with, and guys that just – bragging rights, knowing that, hey, we went against these guys and we know that we can beat those guys that they feel like they can beat us. And we, we, whoever goes out there and plays the hardest is going to win that game. Well, when you were on FIU Football Weekly last year, we found, about your, found out about your singing talents, uh, serenading uh, Wendy Turner, Miss, Mrs. Ron Turner. Uh, now we find out you're a communications major with an eye on being either a sports anchor or a sports analyst in games. How'd you get involved in that? Uh, middle school and high school, I was around the cameras a lot. 
And so uh, it, it kind of grew on me and I, I love sports. So it was like the perfect feel for me. And that's what I fell in love with after, after football. The, like, is your choice if someone came down and said, hey, Alex Gardner, you're the greatest sports anchor or you want to be a game analyst? Sports anchor. Sports okay, and wh why do you prefer sports anchor? Uh, I, li I like the scene. I love, I love all sports. And that's what I feel like I would do best at. Are you uh, well versed in all sports or is there some sports you, you need to pick up a little bit on? I'm pretty well versed, but I have to work on my, uh, my soccer and my hockey. Uh, those two, two areas where I got to learn more about the game. Well, being from Florida, you know, I think you're excused because those aren't really, well now <laughs> soccer's catching on and uh -huh. Panthers have had a little success in hockey. Uh, well, I'm gonna give you a chance here, okay? My work is done, you close it out. All right, guys, we'll be back next week to recap the UCF game and look ahead to the Shula Bowl. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Gardner.